Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to play with my hair. We're going to try and do a messy bun. This is Maggie Saman and she is a celebrity hairstylist. Yes. I have issues with doing a messy bun because whenever I try and do something loose, it ends up falling mm. and yes. pulling the front. So this is the challenge of the day. So today we're going to teach Caroline to style her hair and to create that messy, natural looking bun that she's been wanting to create for a long time. And you guys will learn some techniques as well. Please. <laughs> okay, so it's actually easier than what you think. Sometimes it's just a matter of having the right products to support your styling technique. Right. Yes. So today we're going to start first to create the base and prep the hair with some curls because it will give it more texture so that when you lift it up, it has more dimension as well as your ponytail so you can style it very easily afterwards. So you wouldn't tie it all up and then do some curls on the end? So you can do it both ways. Right. You can first curl your hair so that when you put your ponytail down, you have nice waves all even everywhere, or you can also tie it and curl the top. Ah, oh, but then when you let it down, it's going to be very yes. haphazard. And also when you curl it, your arms are going to be up if you're curling just the top. So it's really a matter of preference. Right. Um, but at the same time, we'll teach you how to curl your own hair. Easy, quickly, you know, like big pieces, big sections just to kind of give it some texture and dimension. Right, okay. Everybody has a favorite hairbrush. I use a bell brush and I just love the way it goes through my hair. So basically today we're using Caroline's tools so that tools. when I'm not around, she can I'll be comfortable working with her own equipment, of course. Yes. <laughs> but it's, it's great, it's perfect, you know, a detangling brush a mix of bristle hair and nylon hair, which is very gentle on the hair, but still kind of like detangles it really well. Yes. And uh, perfect. What you need for this look, I think one or two hair clips. So sectioning clips. Oh, that's sounding very serious. <laughs> you also need a hair tie. In this case, I use a rubber elastic with two bobby pins. And why do you use that rather than a hair elastic? Okay, so just to explain to you guys, when you're, so when you're tying your hair, when you have like that perfect ponytail and then you're wrapping it around, you're moving your hand. So you're kind of messing up what you just created. Right. As where when you're using two bobby pins, kind of also like the bungee elastic, so two bobby pins, you don't have to let go of anything. You just stuck in the bobby pin, wrap the elastic around so nothing moves as where you're trying to tie it with the elastic, right. everything falls out of place. Okay, let me ask you, do you use a hair elastic or do you use those? I use this. You use that? Yeah, it depends. Time? Depends. If I want it really tight, I'll use this. If I want just a regular ponytail, I'll use an elastic. Right. So you can totally use an elastic. Okay, I wear an elastic on my wrist every okay, day. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> just in case. And I end up giving it to my Georgia half the time. <laughs> no problem, because you probably often tie your hair also. Yeah, I can't bear it in my face. Okay. It drives me crazy. That's why you carry it around with you. And that's yes. absolutely fine. So for a regular everyday look, you can use a regular elastic, but when you want that tight, solid, not moving ponytail or bun, then you can use this technique also. I think the first person that comes to mind with that would be Jennifer Lopez. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Sublime. That's exactly what they do on them. Yes. And all the stars really, whenever you get your hair styled for such events, you need something very solid that will not move out of place. And that's where these elastics kick in. Right. Okay. So, so what's first? Oh, next. We I also think I need... have, that's not mine by the way. I do think I have one of those somewhere. A tail comb. I just don't know where. The tail comb is really just to create your part. So you want to create a nice defined parting. So you need a tail comb for that. Right. Except if you want everything back. So it depends what Caroline wants today. Um, I tend not to use a parting, but I'm not, whatever is easiest right now. So thing that I'm learning. If you want like some pieces out, then we can just also just pull them out, like 
with your fingers. Yeah. And if you want an actual parting like I do have. No, I'm quite liking that pulling out thing now. Perfect. So let's I, I might change my mind as I go along. <laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. So let's start and okay. So first, first step is to curl the hair. So we're right. going to prep it with some curls. So Caroline has a flat iron, so I'm going to teach her how to curl her hair with a flat iron. But if you guys have a curling iron, then you can also curl, prep the hair with a curling iron. So we'll leave the hair very natural, not a specific part. We'll divide the head in two sections. Right. And that's when, where we can use our clips to section the hair away. So while you're working on one side, then the other side is clipped away. So what you can do is just divide the section in two. So bottom part and top part. Clip it out of the way. And you're gonna start curling the bottom, then the top, and then move on to the other side. Right. Make sense? Now this is, I just have to say, this is a going out messy ponytail. This isn't a, I'm in the house. Um, <laughs> This is, this is um, but, but the way that you're going to teach me, will it help me, help me make a, just a random messy? So let's say you're at home, a random messy, what's a random messy? Random messy would be, I'm going to put my hair up, but I want it to look a little bit zhuzhy, you know, so then I'll go like that and I'll clip it and then I'll think, oh, I look like, I don't know what I look like, so I want to sort of, Okay, you know, so. Do you prefer doing the bun on your hair natural? As opposed to? Pre prepping with curls? Um, no, I guess let's prep it with curls because it'll my, be, yeah. Yes. Maybe okay. different than what you normally do. And that's when you'll really maybe see the difference. The stress is, is the weight of the whatever I create, okay. pulling okay. my hair back so it starts off soft and then it's Gets okay, tight. but since you also like a bit of texture here, yes, those curls are going to help to create that texture. All right. You know what I mean? Yes. So let's make it like easy curls again. Okay. Let's see how comfortable you are just even making curls. Yeah. <laughs> here, just clip this out. We'll work on one side of the hair. We can even section it only in two or three parts, just enough to also fit in your iron. Right, just to get the texture. Just to get some texture, exactly. Okay, oh, she's handing the hair to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Especially if we want that messy bun, it doesn't have to be too perfect. So, do you know how to curl with a flat iron? Well, I would go like that. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> the answer to the question would be no. Would be no. Okay, so actually the easiest way to curl with a flat iron. Yeah. Okay, so the, the only thing is because it's a very small flat iron, not a lot of hair will fit in between. Okay, it but is a travel. So travel size, yes, yes, that's why it's also cordless. So what you can do is start maybe a little bit lower and you can pinch the hair. Yes. Pinch it. You close the iron, turn all the way, 360, grab the hair on the other side and just slide down. And then you have a curl. Wow. Okay, so it's like the only maybe difficult part here is that the iron is very small, but try it out again. That's why we can't start as high as the roots. So if you pinch the section, you close it, you turn one complete way, you still hold this, the piece of hair on the other side and you just slide it down. Okay, that means, I, and also remember I'm doing this okay, in the so mirror. Go like where you pinch. So if you pinch higher, you slide higher. <laughs> okay. Close, turn the iron one time completely. And this section has to follow. Yes, grab it here. Perfect, and slide down. Uh, sorry, like out in a straight. Yes. Ah. You're almost there. Oh, it's difficult having long hair. Yes. Did it do a curl? Yes, you did. Wow. So 
but it's a curl. It's, yeah. Okay, let me try on this side because I just think I might find it easier this side. Yes, turn that piece. Grab it from the other side. <laughs> yes, exactly. Perfect. Now slide. If you can turn the iron completely. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Very not cute. Bad. It's okay, it's just the base of an updo, uh, so and grab it on the other side. <laughs> Hello there. Okay. Turn a bit more of the iron. If you go too fast, you're not giving the chance for the hair to right. have a bend into it, but you can do it again. Give it another chance. Just Try from the top. Oh, on top, on yes. top. Okay, but pinch it, pinch it. Pinch it, yes. Watch your finger. The other way, turn towards the back, always towards the back. Go on, turn, turn again here. But oh, maybe I'm pushing yes. the button. No, it's good, it's just you didn't turn enough slowly. You can even pull down, you don't have to pull up. Yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's a little bit harder with the flat iron, but look, look. Right, I'm um, just going to get my other one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Put it at the hardest, always. Yeah, perfect. That's so pretty. It's a piece of art. That's really just for touch ups, usually. Yeah. I guess you can take bigger sections with this. And then overwhelm it. <laughs> Looks good though with the curls. Yeah, semi fail. <laughs> Just waiting. Ah, there we go. Right, tight. You want me to do it that way? That feels easier. Okay, so bottom and curve towards the back or front, whatever you're more comfortable with. Perfect, yes. Do like a 360 and come back where the piece is on back on that side. Exactly. And then you can grab it and slide <gasps> down. Yes. Slowly. And then just turn it because it's Did I get too hot. fast again? Oh, because it's still too it's still yes. hot. Yes. Oh right, okay. Just the ends are a bit loose, but it's okay. As long as you have like a shape into it. It's, I get to this point and it doesn't pull. Pull, pull harder. Pull Don't harder. Don't turn more. Don't turn more. Just, just open a bit the iron and slide. Ah, uh, okay. Relax a bit. Yeah. Yes, perfect. You curled it to the front. So if you turn it to the front or if you just do this, then you'll see the curl. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. Oh, another one. Gosh, I think I have thick hair. Oh, I see you, I feel you. I think I'm kind of getting the man. Yes, you are. I think when you're not looking, you're feeling it better. So tell me about you while we're doing this. So you haven't been in Dubai for very long. I've been in Dubai for six months. I am from North America, but I am an international hairstylist. I travel the world, I do hair shows, I win awards, I do fashion weeks. I love that I win awards. <laughs> Pretty much to sum it up, you know. And uh, fashion weeks, New York, Paris, events, shows, name it, I do it. And now I am du in Dubai to style celebrities here, to work on movies, music videos, TV shows and surprises, like you said. <laughs> and are you working with a brand? I am an international hairstylist for Balmain Hair Couture. And uh, so basically I'm an, edu an educator for them. So I travel also to educate, to give classes. You're getting the hang of this, huh? Look at you. Mm. Not bad, that last one. Oh, 
Um, so have you always worked for Balma? No, I've worked with Balma for three years now and I'm a, I've been a hairstylist for 15 years. Wow. Yes. And do you do everything with hair? Everything you can imagine. Very artistic because of the competitions, also hair makeovers for my salon oh, clients, yeah, yeah. extensions, Gosh. bridal updos like we're going to do today. Not a bridal updo. <laughs> Not a bridal updo, just an updo. But do you still love doing it? I doing love it. it more and more every single day. Do you? Let's just put it this way. It's very simple. It's a passion. So a passion only grows, of course, if you maintain it and you enjoy it and you do the best out of it. And that's what I do. That's why I love it. So six months in Dubai. Ooh, six months. And counting, time flies by. It no really way. does. And you were here for the peak of the summer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was still busy, imagine. But it's okay because I come from Canada and it's very cold in the very winter. Extreme. So to be able to have beautiful heat, I will take it any day over extreme mm. cold. It's not working so much. You can oh, well, it doesn't really here. matter, does it? Matter? Right. <laughs> Let's do that piece. Mm -hmm. This one is even more important. So where in Canada? Montreal. Ah, yeah. The French side. So for the bangs, if you have the options and you're comfortable, I always prefer curling them outwards, which right now is curled more inwards. So actually you get to see the difference. It's still very cute. This one is in, so you see it goes towards the face. Yes. This one is out, so it goes away from the face. Right. It's more fashion, it opens up, it's nicer away from the face, so. We'll and you can't curled. turn it with your fingers? No. You can't Because you it. gave it that shape. All right, okay. So if you try to go back against it, it's still gonna have right. that shape, especially right. with a flat iron. But what we can do is you can just let it cool off and then go back and recurl it afterwards. Okay. In the meantime, you can curl both ones. Try it towards the back. And that's towards oh, that's the face. Away. Yes, exactly. Always away from the face. But then I have to hold this with the, oh no. No, keep turning. Okay, yeah, you can always switch hands also. There's always a side that's harder than the other because of, you know, we're more comfortable with our right hand or left hand. Well, you did that pretty nice. That's good enough for, for today. Listen. Not winning any prizes here. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning. Uh, away. away. Away, if you can, away. away. The most important away is around the face. The rest, if you mix and match, it's fine. Right. That's how you do more of a beach wave by mixing it, yes? Mm, depends. If you want more volume, yes, you can mix it up. So they don't blend all into each other. Um, if you curl them all in the same direction, the beach wave, you open them up with your fingers so they won't really become one solid wave, but it's, they're both cute. Right. It depends what the person's looking for as a final result. Yes, you did that. Ooh. Ah, good job. Perfect. Now at least you know how to curl your hair. I know, this is so exciting. <laughs> I've seen people do it and it's the turn is really confusing, yeah. especially when you're looking in the mirror. Practice makes perfect. It does. I'm really pleased you're making me do this. Mm -hmm. Making me do this. Very good. Oh, I wish I wish you could talk about your secret. Mm. <sighs> for the next uh, episode. It's so cute, for real. I'm loving this on you. Here, I'll do one in the back. You don't have to show that. <laughs> I know you would do it if you're alone and you want it to be perfect. Actually, I'd be thinking there's only one at the back, it really doesn't matter. It's <laughs> not true. That's what shows that you put work into it. And if you've done it or someone else did it for you. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. So, congratulations. You've learned to curl your own hair. <laughs> Step one accomplished. Right. Step two, texturizing volume spray. So, of course, I use Belmain. That's right. the products I work with. They're great. So texturizing volume spray. But I just packaging of Balma is amazing. Yes, I know. They're it so really minimalist, beautiful. But beautiful, yes. They're okay. also great quality. But 
for sure i mean ideally if you can use good quality products to maintain the integrity of your hair but also to give you great results it helps a lot what you use now so i didn't use a heat treatment so a heat should protector have done that, shouldn't I? um yes so i did spray some on you you just didn't notice it oh. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely use a thermal protector spray it's Anything that gives you thermal protection is very good. You just spray it all over before curling the hair. Right. Next step, you can spray that everywhere. This will give you texture so that your hair is not so silky and soft and it can hold better. Do I pause? So, so actually what you can do, you can spray it from like arm length. Right. And just like kind of go in a bit everywhere. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Well, I can feel the, uh, <laughs> the texture. Oh, it smells put delicious. Here too. You can also put your head upside down, spray it. Perfect. Awesome. Ooh, already you see the texture. The oh, it volume. smells incredible. You see the volume that it creates, and if yes. you touch it, you feel the texture it's yes. holding. So you need product to make that volume and that texture hold because if your hair is too silky and soft, that's why it's going back flat right. when you're tying it because there's nothing supporting it under. Right. So now that we've put in a nice texture, especially where you're gonna tie your hair. Ooh, right. so sexy, Carol, I'm <laughs> loving this. <laughs> okay, so next step, you wanna keep that texture. Yes. Okay, so we don't want to brush it up. Right. Prepare your hair elastic, which I'm going to show you how to put in. I'm going to put it on you. Okay, so this is two regular hair elastics? Or just like one rubber elastic. Okay, and with two. two do you call them bobby, bobby pins? I call them bobby pins. We call them hair grips. Hair grips. Yes. <laughs> London to Canada. <laughs> so, or, or your regular hair tie. Right. Since it's not a look that's very clean and defined, yes. you can use your regular elastic. Okay. But if you want to practice this, let's use that one. Okay, let's, okay. Try let's see how that goes. So what you're going to do is you will grab your hair and place it. You see, you feel the grip already? Yes. Place it. So all of it. Yes. Exactly where you want it. Because it's a natural voluminous, it's not so defined, right? Right. So, oh, sorry, I, I'm, it's just gripping a little bit it into is. the hair. Okay, so go for it. Oh, it, it, it just totally feels like grippy, <laughs> grippy, grippy, grippy. Go a bit higher. Let's do a higher bun. Because, it, you know, especially your arms kind of naturally and this one down. Bring it right at the top. Yes, like just slide your fingers through. Gosh, it is the grippiest spray ever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So you like to have like texture here and volume, right? Yes. Don't turn. Don't no, turn. I'm just trying to get okay. my hands. Okay, perfect. perfect. Hold it. Up so you end. like you want to keep that texture and that messiness yes. around. Yes? yes. So place your fingers exactly where you want your bun to sit. If you want it to sit here, you put your fingers here. If you want it to sit a bit lower, you put your your fingers. Okay. Lower. Now, is there a fashion to where a bun goes, or um, yes, um, an so, age even? Dare I say it? Oh no! Look, fashion is fashion. You're a fashionable woman. You can wear fashion items, no problem. Right. What I would do to make it a little bit more fun and younger, I would definitely pull out those little pieces. Right. It just softens the face, softens the feature. So I want to let you do that. So okay. Grab so am I doing this first? Leave that down. No. Okay. So grab it. Don't leave too much, like, blotchy hair. Just, just try to clean it up a little bit, even just with your fingers, so it's not too bumpy. Right. Okay. okay, so put your hand exactly where you want your bun to be. Grab it as if you're about to tie it. Okay, I think there. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna fix a little bit those. Before we tie it, pull yeah. out the little pieces you want in the front. 
Try to take it from the middle part right here out. Oh, the middle. Yeah. That's where I've been making a mistake. And less it's is kind more, of like your fringe. If you start at the first point, yes, that's very cute. Less is more. Depends in which case, but yes, that's very pretty. Let me see. Yeah, I would take even that little middle one out. So it doesn't look like there's a hole between both of them. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right, you like you like said, one it's a bit more of a fringe. Up. Right. Perfect. Now we're going to tie it. Okay. A <laughs> moment of truth. Yes. So you, you start with one pin and you tuck it in all the way. Front or back? Back, ideally. You don't have to open it, actually. Yes, oh. yes. So that's a good point. You don't even have to open the pin. You just tuck it in. Slide it in all the way. Okay. And then hold it with your thumb. Hold the back so it doesn't come out. And okay. wrap it around your whole ponytail. And use your hand to stop it so you can go back on the other side. And what's happening there? That's just the hair. Leave it there. <laughs> it needs to go in your ponytail. And then just grab it on the other side and pull on it so you're really wrapping the ponytail until you can't wrap anymore tuck it back inside yes tuck it in yes okay. perfect okay so you have to go at least one time around yeah so you almost did but there's a hole but i didn't oh. a little bit okay so what we can do is basically, I know it's a bit hard when you do it on your own. You just want to complete go over just to make sure it's super secure. Okay. So already you see like how it's like that staying in place. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. And it's messy. <laughs> and it's messy. So we want to keep, so here if it's a little bit too messy, of course when you're going to be in front of a mirror, it's not going to be that messy because you can see it. Clear. Yes. But what you can do, you can use a tail comb, just slide it in and it's uh, going to okay. push back the loops inside. Right. You want to try that? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. The rest we're going to work with bobby pins. Right. Very cute. Yeah, I think I've pulled this out. No problem. If you pull too much out, we'll tuck it back in with a pin. Okay. Okay. So now what you can do, you can also spray it because you've kind of created your base. You want this to stay nicely into place. So we can use like a flexible hairspray. So I'm using like a medium strength and you can just kind of like spray it to make it hold even more. And do and I have to? You can spray from like far a little bit everywhere. Yes. Oops. Oh, again, it smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you buy Balma? Anyway, you don't see it for sale very much. So, sell, uh, so they only retail in salons. professional hair salons or right. certain online. You can find online also. Okay. Um, so next step, do you like those little pieces? Yes. Perfect. The next step is going to be, there's already a lot of texture. So <laughs> right now it's so I easy. cannot tell you how much texture there is right <laughs> so now. So because of the curls and the texture, you literally just wrap it and pin it. It even holds on its own. That's how much like nice texture there is. So you just curve it and you create the shape that you want. And then we're going to tuck it in with some pins. So I'm going to let you do that. So one good tip also is that you never need to open your bobby pins when you do this. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Because if you open it, then there's too much hair that's going to go inside and it's going to push the bobby pin back out. So don't open it, just push it in and already whatever slides inside is going to be held really well. Okay. Super cute. So now what you can do, so basically, here. You just start tucking it. So when you tuck it in, you can go at 90 degree of the head. So you push it down and yeah. then you... Down and in. So you yeah. go in vertical, then you push it in horizontal. Right. So basically I pull it, put it in going down and then I slide it in horizontal. So it's holding really, really well. So here, I'll let but you pin honestly, it. Honestly, it is, it is so texturized that it's not good. <laughs> that nothing right. is, is not going out of where it's supposed to. 
Yes, exactly. So you're just sliding it in. Okay, that's looking very messy. Yes, so actually... <laughs> <laughs> and also very for, far forward. Yes, so depends where you place it is what really will make it look too forward, too much back, too much side. So even if it's a little bit actually your ponytail, if your ponytail is a little bit crooked, it's fine because you can always place it with the bun. Right. So what you also, do, if I'm wanting the, there's only so much gray and I don't want it to be like a dark. brown blob on top of my gray. So can I keep that to one side? And go, yes. go after. So, yes, that's actually a very good trick. You can just section out the lighter part. Keep it to the side. Right. Okay. And then what you do with this, so don't try too hard, if I can say. Yeah. And that's what happens is we try too hard. Just It's very effortless. You twist it. Yeah. Not tight. Not tight. Like yeah. twist it very loose. Yeah. And turn around your bun and then just place it where you want it you want it to the side to the front to the back okay you can tighten a bit the base and then put a pin where you're holding it so it doesn't move and then you can get closer to the mirror open it up close it up whatever you prefer okay okay so yeah. you want to try that just like pin it a bit not right away this one Keep this one for after. I'll show you what you can do. Okay. Just I'm pin like, the base. I, 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 I do, it doesn't need a pin. Yes, because then if you're moving, it's going to fall off. Okay. Just put a pin. What you can do is you can use only four pins. Left, right, back, and front. But most importantly, like the side. So now we put two and it's pretty solid. Yeah. But just to make sure, put an extra one in the front and in the back. Just so the hair doesn't really open up too much. Okay. Perfect. So then the placement is nice. The size is very cute too. Yeah. Now use your own hair to kind of open it up over the bun. Or you can separate it in two, twist it on one side. Some little streaks. And then twist it on the other side. Ooh, sky's the limit now. Yep. <laughs> and then you can kind of like give it back a bit of texture. You can spray it. Spray it at the same time. I feel like it's falling it a little bit. Neat. Hmm? We don't want it to be too neat. Exactly. So you want to use this to open up. But now they're falling. So you want to place it in a way. Like yeah, my head does not hold a curl. Pretty. No, they're holding pretty well. Do you see? I just sprayed this and it stayed into place. But okay. you're going to need pins. So you grab whatever that section is and you just tuck it somewhere. What spray am I doing with this? Open it up a bit to cover the dark part and spray it so it stays into place. Spray this before this I one. set it? Yes. Open it up. How you like to cover the dark part. Okay. Put it where you want first. Oh. <laughs> place it over the dark yeah perfect very nice spray it perfect I'm finished <laughs> I'm just thinking I should be counting how many are going in so I get them all out it's a bit like a squirrel's nest you'll always have a nice surprise the next day <laughs> very cute and what you could do when you're catching big sections since it's not a thick section, then I would open my my pin just to make sure that I'm I'm catching the whole section, just so okay. nothing like comes out. For example, like this. So you open it, and then you you grab that whole section and you put it inside. So you open your pin. I'm pinching it, putting it inside, and then just tucking it back in. But even if they stick out a bit, it's super cute. You can spray it. You can spray the final result to hold it into place. Now, what do you do about it? I mean, I wanted a messy bun, and I think that's what I've got, and it's a bit funky, it's fun. Super cute. What do you do about baby? I mean, do baby hairs worry people? So, actually, baby hairs are, like, super trendy, and if you've noticed, even, like, 
like we just spoke about JLo, that how she always has her baby's hair sticking out. Of course, they're placed in a way where it looks very, you know, clean and done up. So in your case, because we kept it very messy, right? It doesn't mean that you need baby hairs, but maybe you want baby hairs to make it look more natural. But if you don't, then what you do is you can catch those baby hairs, spray them, and put another pin just to hold them out of the way. But if you were going for a casual day look, you wouldn't catch them if that is the officially you the you right thing to up? do. Yes. Okay. Does it make what difference does it make? So there is no right or wrong. Right. Let's just put it this way. Right. It's up to you. I can wear like a red carpet dress and leave messy hair like this. Just like I can wear sweatpants and make sure everything is tucked in. Right. It depends on your own preference. Right. I think both are super cute and beautiful. You know, if you want it more fun and natural, then you leave those little hairs out. And your little hairs are super cute, by the way. Right. They're yeah. like, they're cute. Like you can it even curl growing. them I'm and happy. it looks like it it's part growing. of the look. <laughs> yeah. It's not like little frizzy baby hair. Right. And then if you tuck them in, it just looks like more done up. Right. So okay. It's so personal at that point. Right. But there is, again, there's no right or wrong. It's really what you're comfortable with. If they're bothering you, then just spray them and tuck them in. Right. If you like them because it just looks natural and like effortless, then you leave them. What do you think? I love it. You look so good. Even in the it. camera right now, do a little 360. It looks super cute. See, like they're super cute, those little baby hairs. You can even curl them and leave them out. Yeah, I'm really you happy. You just learn how to do a natural, messy bun. Yes. I will send you pictures when I try and do it by myself. Oh, please do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're going to do great, but I cannot wait to see. Maggie, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for showing everybody how to do a messy bun. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. If you guys enjoy this and send us pictures at home. <laughs>